joining us here in the studio tonight is the director of television and new media rights for FIBA, Paul Stimson. Good evening, Paul, and welcome to the Solar Sports Desk. And thank you yeah. for bringing this along. You're very welcome. <laughs> and uh, I have to say, Mika, that was fantastic. I have never seen a, a setup. It was fantastic. Very emotional, your piece on the. Uh, thank you. And my, and what can you say about my Spanish? Uh, <laughs> Spanish was <laughs> absolutely. You, you need to come to Spain. <laughs> And everyone will understand you yes. perfectly. Yes. Fantastic. So he got it right. He, he got spot, it. On. Spot, spot on. Spot on. Spot, spot on. on. Uh, Paul, this trophy, special moment, um, it's here in the Philippines for the, for the first time. And, you know, you, you've brought this around to other countries as, as, as well. Uh, what was the reception like when you brought it around to, uh, I think, South, South America was one of the spots? Yes. Um, we, we decided earlier in the year that... Um, we usually have the World Championship uh, in the past, and it's the FIBA Basketball World Cup this year. We've had a name change. And the trophy has appeared at the event, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, well, let's see if we can actually build and promote and, and start getting people warming to, to what this event is from further out. And so we started in, in February. It was um, at the NBA All-Star Game. Uh, where we did a, a piece, and then it's been in, in Puerto Rico, it's been in Mexico, it's been in Brazil mm. before the FIFA World Cup, the yeah. other World Cup, uh, and, and got great response. It's been in Argentina. And it's really a, a, a case where it comes for two, three days, it goes to a public place where fans can get pictures with it, and they can see it and touch it. Players can talk about it, what it means to play the World Championships, the best against the best, playing for your country. And it's just a, a a great centerpiece to, to start the road uh, to Spain. And uh, for me, it's very special coming here. Um, is this carryout? Because it's very heavy. It's really heavy. <laughs> uh, believe me, it's not light to a thing. That's why you need, you need big basketball players to lift it up. <laughs> because it, it, it's heavy. It's heavy for sure. Speaking of the start to the road to Spain, you are actually here to witness the Philippines um, win well, against Korea yeah. in the FIBA. To qualify. To qualify. To qualify in uh, FIBA Asia, as obviously we're Filipinos, so we feel the emotional, the, the gravity of the, like, just all the emotions, roller coasting. Um, from your point of view, as someone who has traveled the world with this trophy and witnessing other countries play basketball, what was your, what was, what was your take? Um. I grew up playing basketball uh, in England, which is not a basketball <laughs> store, but mm -hmm. always heard about the Filipino Basketball League and how it was uh, one of the few professional leagues at the time, and Filipinos weren't allowed to play in FIBA competitions back in the 70s and, and what have you, and, uh, and always heard about Filipino basketball from many, many different people. When I came here, I got it. I understood, and I thought, oh, the passion would be for their type of basketball, and they wouldn't really appreciate maybe international basketball. And I was totally wrong. When I came in last year, uh, the Mall of Asia, and I saw the games, the crowd, they're, they're passionate, but they're also, they understand the game of basketball. When the other team make a good play, they recognize it's a good play. They don't just hate the other team because they've made a, a play, they recognize it was a good play. And as you say, and, and, and Mika and the pictures there from uh, the game against Korea, yeah. it, it was dead and buried and they came back and, uh, and at the end it was, it was incredibly emotional and it was, for me, it was a just reward for the work that has been put in, that the players, the coach, the fans, the organization, and it's great to have the Philippines playing at our Basketball World Cup. Um, looking forward, like looking forward to Spain, uh, while of course our national team is going to be, go out there and try their mighty best to win as many games and, and hopefully advance, I, I also feel, and this is how I felt when I, when I met up with people in, in, the, in the United States and when they found out that Philippines qualified, there was that, and, um, and Amaya, Amaya certainly made me feel like, hey, you know, you guys are now part of the club. You're part of that elite club of, of, of basketball, uh, of top basketball's top teams. Um, you, do, you, do you foresee that the Philippines will have that kind of welcome? Uh, when, when Spain happens, that other countries will, so, so long as they're not playing the Philippines in a natural game, but will you, will, do you foresee that uh, there's just that welcoming thing that will happen? Hey, Philippines, welcome back. Welcome back to the world stage. Uh, yes, definitely. Look, anyone that's played basketball <clears throat> knows that Philippines is one of the basketball countries in the world. You know, there's a few countries in the world where basketball is absolutely the number one sport. 
and it certainly is here in the Philippines, and, and you feel it. And I, I really think that, that people will want to watch the Philippines, they'll want to see them play. You have a particular style that has evolved because of the league you play in, because of the, the size of your players and how you play. And if you can get teams playing your style of basketball, who knows what can happen? Now, looking forward to, to what's going to be happening in Sevilla, uh, you look at the teams that were, are there uh, with Argentina, Croatia, uh, Greece, Senegal. My understanding is that the Philippines is actually one of the bigger draws out of that uh, group. Draws meaning to say how many people will come to the venue to watch uh, because of, I guess, the, uh, the, popula the Filipino community in Spain and Europe. And also because, like you said, uh, a lot of people know how big a deal uh, basketball is in the Philippines. And they could just be curious uh, to see why is it such a big deal in the Philippines? I mean, just to give you an idea of how curious, uh, how, how big, it, how strange, how bizarre it is sometimes. A, a writer from the New York Times was commissioned to come here and write a piece, <laughs> a book, about why the Filipinos love basketball so much. But I, I just want to know, though, what's, what's your take on uh, th this whole scenario when we, when we get to uh, Spain and how, how, you know, how, how the Philippines can, can uh, experience it uh, uh, the right way, the FIBA way? I think, um, I think you're exactly right. Certainly, any Filipino that's in Spain knows that the Philippines are coming. They will make every effort, I'm sure. I've been to the Middle East, and when Philippines are played in the Middle East, in, in Qatar, mm -hmm. the place was packed. You couldn't get, the, the armors were there, or the drivers were there. It was fantastic, <laughs> and it was like a home game. And when we went to, uh, when we went to um, China, the Filipinos that are there, all turn up, they sit together, they cheer and they shout and they just love the game and their team playing. And I think you're exactly right. Uh, they will be a romantic team in many ways because mm. of the, the passion. Um, and they're in a group, look, all the groups are tough. And you have Argentina, which is a golden generation. Yes. This coming to <clears throat> the end, uh, Manu Ginobili, after winning with the San Antonio Spurs, has said that he's playing and scholars play and everyone is there. That will be a special time. Um, you have Greece, who are very strong. They're not the most attractive team, maybe, but they have very, very formidable players, very experienced. They play a lot of EuroLeague basketball, have players playing in the NBA, etc. But then after that, you have Croatia, big team, experienced. You have Puerto Rico, mm. which I, I can't wait to see Philippines. Yes. Puerto Rico. For myself, <laughs> I think it will be great because both like to run. Yeah. It could be a fun game. And, and there's, there's actually another reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I heard the other reason. I, I, like I said, I'm just wearing my basketball hat right now. And then the last team, of course, is Senegal. Yes. And they are maybe one of the tallest teams in the, in the competition and very, very athletic and they will be exciting to watch, mm. but in a different way. So I really think that, uh, as you say, there will be people who come and watch the Philippines, no question. And uh, Gilas, they, they, I think they can, can, sorry, can surprise some people. All right. All right, so we're going to be having more uh, with Paul and, of course, this beautiful trophy. And, uh, oh, I'm taking this home. <laughs> if you can carry it. If I can carry it. And, of course, we're going to also read replies to our Twitter topic of the night when we return. This is a Solar Sports Desk. Keep it here. But uh, let's right. Miko first. Miko first. Uh, what, what, what other teams are you looking forward to uh, come the FIBA World Cup? Oh, yeah, you know, you have your usual suspects. Yeah, of course, Team USA. Everyone wants to see them. You want to see Spain. I'm, I'm particularly interested about Argentina uh, yeah. because, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if this is going to be the last tournament of Manu Ginobili, I mean, why wouldn't you want to see it? It yeah. is indeed a, a golden era for, for that, Argentine basketball. That's is five. he still playing, though, that despite he's... his injury? He said, well, he said that he was. Maybe okay. he was, he was uh, at the caught in the moment. <laughs> but uh, he did say that he was. But that, that core of Argentina, when they you know, won so many titles uh, together, that's, that's, this is it. This could be the last one and probably is the last tournament. And they're our first game. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> Best time to get them. Yeah, Best yeah, time yeah, to get them. Exactly. Exactly. Best time exactly. to get them. Uh, Jack, what's, what, other, what other teams are you looking forward to? Who? You were saying who? <laughs> Okay, again, usual suspects. Team USA, Spain, um, no one else really. really. I mean, I just really want to see how Bachman reacts to the <laughs> Filipino players. Come on! As a Filipino, you want to yeah. see how that goes. Um, 
you know, I, I, you know, I want to see how, how how South Korea would do. I, I'm, I'm, because they've always been the, oh, the, the team that, that the, does, the Korea, the Korea that, curse that we broke this last oh, year. You know, that, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see what, 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 what they could do. Iran also. I want to see how the Asian guys, uh, the Asian teams do in, in the, in the tournament. I want to see how Hot Daddy does. Because <laughs> yeah. over here, he was literally just standing under the basket, With waiting for someone to feed him. Like, okay, none of us could. Here we go. Could. He's, um, he's a smart player. Yeah, he is. And, and uh, he'd definitely be one of the taller players there. And Iran. You know, they've played a couple of World Cups now. Mm -hmm. uh, they played in Turkey and, uh, you know, they, they didn't do badly. And they've got a generation that's coming to near the end, not quite as old as Argentina, but they've got a very special generation. I think Brazil could be uh, yes. interesting. They, they've got their, all their players coming. Australia, they, they, they will be tough. Um, and then you've got, you know, countries, the former Yugoslavia with Serbia, mm -hmm. uh, Slovenia. Lithuania, where you talk about passion, basketball is their number one yes. sport. So for them, they will be coming and traveling with a lot of fans, and it means a lot to them. Then you have people like Turkey, you know, who knows what they might do, and uh, and Finland actually. Finland have qualified. They have seven thousand fans traveling from Finland wow. for wow. the first round in Bilbao, and so they've booked seven thousand tickets. They bought. We wow. already have about 7,000 people, Filipinos, living in Spain now, so... <laughs> so that will be... Even that, more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, they'll, they'll make it down to Sevilla for the, for, the, for, the, for the group stages. No, it's going to be a great, great uh, competition. And um, like I said, I wouldn't count Filipinos out at all. Yeah. I think they're in with a shout to get to the next round. Okay, well, why don't you address um, our viewers out there to come support the FIBA World Cup. Not the FIFA World Cup, that's happening right now. But the, in, in, in a few months' time, the FIBA World Cup, a special moment. And, of course, a special moment that we have the trophy here uh, with you as well, Mr. Simpson. Yeah, I'd just like to say to all you Filipinos out there, support your team. Cheer, scream as much as you can. And, uh, and the passion that you have and that you see for the game will carry the team through. And thank you for your support of, of our sport. And uh, you are certainly a very special country when it comes to basketball. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. much, Paul. And hopefully this isn't the last time we're going to see the trophy here in this country. <laughs> I, maybe it comes back and it's I, kept I'm here thinking, for a while. It, I'm we, thinking you know, it'll be back here this after This is practice Spain. for yeah. us. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, practice. Is, this is a rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> this is rehearsal. Just it, rehearsal. It looks good in this light. Yeah, okay. it does. Thank you for that. Awesome post game, Miko. We'll see you again as next always, week. As